What is up guys? Welcome to our game one for the GOT, the Grand Overseas Tournament. We haven't talked about it in a little bit on the channel, uh, but if you guys do want to go check out the GOT channel, we're going to be uploading power rankings on there at the beginning of next week. So if you want to see uh, all of the top teams and see some of our, uh, our analysts or ad administrators uh, from the GOT server talking about those teams, then definitely go check that out. I'm personally hoping that I will end up in top 16 in my conference. Uh, each conference is made up of 32 teams of eight Pokemon each. So uh, the eight that we have are the uh, six that you see in front of us, uh, in front of you, excuse me, as well as Amoongus and Porygon 2. So I drafted uh, Mega Gardevoir, Tornadus, uh, Therian, uh, Tyranitar, Cobalion, Slowbro, Diggersby, Amoongus, and Porygon 2. And our opponent this week is Survive9, a friend of the channel uh, who's been on a couple of videos with me. Uh, he's all, I've, I've known him almost the longest uh, in the community since the, uh, the UPA days, and he's still in the UPA. Uh, we're very good friends, and I was happy to finally be able to take him on because I hadn't played him yet uh, in Draft League format, so this is going to be the first time. Uh, looking at his team, Megalopony actually puts in a lot of work against my team. Uh, my two only checks, of course, being uh, Slowbro and Amoongus. Amoongus was way too passive against him. He has things like Starmie, um, things like Necrozma, Crobat that take advantage of it, so that's really not a good idea to bring against him. Uh, we'll see about the next game because we do rematch in Week 5, but uh, I did bring Slowbro as my answer to Megalopony. It is a Rocky Helmet set uh, to be able to check that Megalop set. Uh, now, of course, Survive is a little bit more creative than just spamming attacks with Megalopony, so I had to watch out for that thing. I had definitely had to scout what the heck it was going to do uh, during this game. But uh, I'm not going to go into a team builder or reveal too many of my sets or my moves uh, because we do have a rematch, like I said, in week five. And I know that Survive watches my videos, so what's up, buddy? You're not going to find out too much information about my team. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into it. Uh, I decided to lead off with my Diggersby. It is my best lead against him. Uh, he decides to lead off with Nihilego. I know for a fact that Nihilego um, can very well be sashed and gets Grass Knot, and it was more than likely going to be packing Grass Knot for me because my two uh, best resists to its stabs, being um, Tyranitar and Diggersby, as well as Cobalion, uh, two of them are weak to Grass, so I knew that it was going to have Grass Knot, and my check to his Nihilego was always going to be my Cobalion this game. I was only ever going to switch it in on Nihilego, pretty much nothing else. He goes for a Grass Knot, does very little. I calc the damage. I see that he is max special attack, but he is not specs. He's just max special attack. So I'm going to go for my rocks here, get them up against this Starmie, and uh, what I'm going to do against Starmie is I'm going to switch into my uh, Tornadus. I am running a lot of Spadef on this, and I can definitely take a hit. I see from this Surf damage and the fact that he does not have Life Orb, that he is a specially offensive set uh, with analytic, so he does not have natural cure. I can also tell that by that damage, he's more than likely modest spa splash plate. He cannot be specs because he would have done a little bit more to me, uh, but that's definitely um, modest spa splash plate damage. So, one, I know that I'm automatically faster than the Starmie because I EV'd it in a way to outspeed Starmie. And two, uh, I know that I can get off a safe U-turn here and go into my Slowbro. He can very well throw off a Thunderbolt, but uh, he's, he's going to be revealing his set at that point. And I have Regenerator Mons, so they're getting back health as they go. So I am just going to U-turn here. I'm going to see that's massive damage from the Starmie. And uh, initially, I missed Calc, and I thought that he was Specs, and I was going to take a Surf here. But he goes for the Rapid Spin, and he uh, takes a uh, Rocky Helmet hit, which is actually pretty good for me. Uh, now he's going to go for Toxic. He's going to get a Toxic off my, on my Slowbro. doesn't really matter too much. I have the Regenerator, and I'm going to be able to uh, to get rid of the damage that the Toxic does to me over time. And I'm going to switch into my Mega Gardevoir here. Trace is Analytic, and I'm going to take this Surf not too well, but that's an Analytic Surf. Mega Gardevoir gains a lot of special defense when it Mega Evolves, guys. And not only that, I would be going last. Uh, so he'd be going first, meaning that he wouldn't get the analytic boost from his next surf. So unless he has something wacky like, uh, I don't know, Flash Cannon. I don't even know if Starmie gets Flash Cannon. But he's probably not going to be knocking me out right here. Unless, of course, uh, you know, Survive just decides to stay in with his Starmie and crit me. Uh, which he does. And uh, Emma Watson, unfortunately, is going to go down here. Uh, I could have kept my... Uh, Mega Gardevoir for later in the game, but it's fine. Uh, no worries. I'm just gonna go out into my Cobalion. It's my best play here. He goes out into Nihilego, so I have this thing checked. I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks. He stays in, revealing that he is more than likely Focus Sash. Gets up his own rocks. I don't have hazard re removal across my entire team for any of my opponents that want to exploit that. You can go right ahead and try. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. 
But uh, I am gonna knock out this Nihilego. Cerberust getting the first kill. Thanks uh, to Gareth for the nickname. Awesome. CJ gave us a lot of uh, nicknames as well. He's now gonna bring in his Lopany, and I'm gonna stay in. Uh, and as he goes for a substitute, and I'm gonna go for a close combat, and this is actually a little bit of a problem, because I am Choppleberry, and I can take his high jump kick usually, but after the drops, I cannot. So I'm gonna be forced out right here, as he's actually gonna go for the baton pass. And right away on this turn, I notice that there's something up with this Lopany. It's sub baton pass. So either it has to have some kind of setup, and he's trying to pass into something that can beat me, or he is uh, just a sub... Uh, baton pass with two attacks because he needs return on the set if he wants to be able to hit Slowbro or Toxic uh, But he has Toxic Spikes uh, Which which wear down Slowbro anyway, and he needs high jump kick for my uh, My multitudes of weaknesses. I have Porygon too. I have Diggersby, Tyranitar, and Cobalion that are all weak to fighting uh, My the other four mons on my team obviously I'll resist fighting But it doesn't matter Lopany can still put in work on most of them. So I was kind of confused uh, sub baton pass and then like what are the other two moves one of them has to be high jump kick, right? So he's going to uh, baton pass out into his Electros. I don't want to stay in on this thing uh, Because I am not specially defensive and my uh, immediate response to this is actually my thunderous because uh, While I'm not assault vest I can take anything that isn't an electric move and if thunderous goes down It's not the end of the world. Uh, I just bring in something like my Titar after or my diggers and diggers B picks up a kill because it is choice banded uh, and now I'm going to switch into my Diggersby, predicting an electric move. As you guys saw, we were Mago Berry on the uh, Tornadus, so now we're back up to full. And uh, he's going to go for an Inferno Overdrive, which is fine because he still has no switch-ins to a banded return. So this Electros, which is a huge problem for me in prep, is going down this turn, which is awesome. And if he would have switched out, he would have lost another Mon, which would have been fine too, because it means that his confusing Lopany is no longer around. Uh, his Necrozma gets severely damaged. I think it might even die. Uh, if it's not fully defensive, and his Crobat goes straight down. And then Electros is easily checked by something like my T-Tar, as you guys will see. I am double Choppel, actually. T-Tar has a Choppel Berry as well. Uh, it was there to, while it, while it was there to cover Lopany's uh, Fighting Stab, to some extent, because I can live with my investment for a, a high jump kick, uh, it's also there to cover things like Power Up Punch, Drain Punch from Lopany, um, also Drain Punch from Electros, uh, just general things like that. Brick Break from his Necrozma. Those were all things I was co uh, covering. Not necessarily the high jump kick from uh, Megalopony. A lot of people were confused about that when I said I was double Choppel in the chat after the game. Uh, but yeah, so I did have two Choppel Berries. Uh, Diggersby, unfortunately, is going to go down to uh, Toxic right here. Or a Poison, rather. That's fine. He's going to bring in his Lopany now, and I'm going to bring in my Cobalion. And again, I know that I can just go for a close combat here. But he's going to immediately Baton Pass, and he's going to go out into his Crobat. And uh, I close combat, and I have a drop here, so I have to switch out, and I'm thinking, okay, he's probably just going to U-turn, uh, maybe back in the Lopany, but that's fine, I have Crow, uh, I have uh, Slowbro, but it turns out his Crobat's a special set, which I also expected, and uh, I know that my Slowbro can live a plus two Giga Drain, even from modest max special attack Crobat, unless he's Life Orb, um, that would be the only set that would actually kill me. He's going to go for a Giga Drain, it's going to do 74%, uh, and I'm able to side shock him for a lot of damage, get that off. And now my Slowbro is going to go down, which is a little bit concerning because he still has that Lopany. And uh, Cobalion is somewhat checked by his uh, Necrozma because of the set that I brought. So I have to rely on Torn actually living an attack right here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in Torn. I calc up Sludge Bomb. I know that I can live it from where, I am, from where I'm at. And I can get up a Tailwind. And this is actually really important because this is going to force his Crobat out. And his Crobat's really low. So it's not. It's probably not going to be able to get up another nasty plot later in the game, which was the most threatening thing. I'm going to knock off this Necrozma's Twisted Spoon. And I end up going for a Taunt. I brought Taunt because uh, Survive also has a Florgis. And uh, he has a High Dragon in the back. So Florgis and Necrozma were the two biggest things that I wanted to make sure I could Taunt. And that's why I couldn't run an Assault Vest uh, during this game. He's going to go for a Toxic with his Megalopony here. Uh, after I forced out his Necrozma, and this is really weird to me because now I've seen um, Sub, Baton Pass, and Toxic. So I'm wondering what the heck is this guy's last move? And I'm thinking here, okay, well my Tailwind's up. If he kills me on this turn, I can go into Cobalion and just win this game, and I have a very proficient way of winning. Uh, the game, so I'm not concerned at all. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna throw out a taunt because if he wants to get behind a sub, I'm gonna taunt him thereafter and he won't be able to baton pass it out. And if he has the uh, fighting type move, uh, I can then bring in my Cobalion. I, I still have the Choppel Berry intact and I can beat him from there. And Undertale, when I am outspeeding his Lopany, so. 
Uh, I am going to now go for the taunt on the following turn. Uh, while I'm faster than this thing, so he actually can't even get up a sub or a workup, which turns out to be his last move. So what Survive was planning on doing was uh, Baton passing a workup uh, behind a sub into either Crobat or into um, into Necrozma, both of which would have very much benefited from that. Uh, so it's kind of good that he didn't get that off uh, earlier in the game. And right here, I'm going to sack off my Torn. I could have U-turned there, but I actually wanted to go down on this turn as he ends up staying in and struggling. So now I'm, what I'm going to get to do is actually go into my Tyranitar. And I have Dragon Dance on this T-Tar. Uh, I did mention the Choppleberry before, and he's locked into Struggle, so no matter what I do here, I've seen all his moves, I know that this thing can't touch me. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a Dragon Dance. I'm now faster than his Necrozma, I have the Crunch for it. It'll break it through Prism Armor, no problem. Uh, it's at 55%, so this is an easy KO uh, from a Tyranitar. And then he brings in his Crobat. He is faster than me with Crobat, still, uh, even though I have a lot of speed on this T-Tar. Uh, mainly because the uh, the Tailwind went down, but no matter what happens here, if he roosts, he dies to Crunch. If he Giga Drains, uh, I'm fine because he can't knock out my Cobalion from where it's at with Heat Wave. And uh, if he decides to attack, if he decides to, uh, to well, whatever he does, if he attacks, and even if he knocked me out with whatever else he could have had, like HP Fight, I don't know. I hadn't seen his last move, then... Um, then he would have gone down to sand. So I had the game in the bag there, but Giga Drain ends up not being able to do enough to me thanks to Ty Tyranitar's great bulk and the fact that sand was still up. So I am able to sweep with the set I intended uh, on sweeping with. Now, uh, again, I don't want to reveal too much about my set, but this set, this Tyranitar set, uh, the one thing I will say is that no matter what he brought, if I got up two Dragon Dances, the game was over. So that was, uh, that was the idea behind this Tyranitar. And I covered pretty much everything. The only thing that could potentially live one of my attacks, even at plus two, was a Cobra Berry uh, Necrozma, which is exactly why I had the Chopple Berry on there, was to cover Brick Break, because Brick Break was doing way too much. And then he could just fake out spam uh, with Lopany and eventually get the KO with fake out into Quick Attack if he decided to run that. Uh, and I never wanted to switch out my T-Tar, so that was the idea there. Uh, we do end up picking up the win, so week one goes to the Montreal Habsols. Uh, we are now 1-0 up with a plus two differential. Not the best, not the worst. Uh, definitely survive, in my opinion, out of all of the, excuse me, out of all of the players in my group is the most threatening. So picking up a win against him early on is a very big deal. Especially that we have a rematch, and I don't think I'm going to be able to win a rematch because I showed a lot of my cards uh, this week, so he might prep heavily for what I prepped. Uh, I already have some things in mind for our rematch, but we'll see how that goes. Even if I end up losing that one, pretty much what I'm going to be dead set on is winning three games. Uh, my first three games. If I can win the first three, then I'm pretty much a shoe in to move on to the next round. Uh, as long as Survive uh, does well or does very poorly, one or the other, <laughs> from here on out. So... Uh, that's that's pretty much it guys. So that's gonna be game one. Uh, I know uh, no draft recap. I'm sorry uh, I, I do enough of those as is so you guys are gonna have to uh, lay off on that one, but Definitely uh, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. We will be having more of these games throughout the next five weeks. Uh, what's cool about the GOT is that you can play any week's game at any point. So this thumbnail, of course, is going to say game one because it was my week one. But I might end up having a rematch against Survive in week three rather than week five. So that, that, would, be, uh, that would be something you guys can see. So be looking out for which game it says the bottom left of the thumbnail. Uh, that'll give you an idea of what's going on. So essentially, we take on Survive week one and five. We take on Frogs and Toads in week uh, two and four, for any of you that know Frogs and Toads. And we take on Ojama in the uh, third week. We only take him on once, so, or her, I'm not sure, but either way. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, again, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Uh, check out my opponent, Survive, in the description. He also uploads league content. Uh, he was actually the winner of, uh, or was on the team of the winners of Joey Pokeames, uh sub-tournament for uh, Draft League... Uh, Drive League format sub tournament, subscriber tournament that he had, uh, and he was par part of that team. So he's going to be on a, a video with uh, with Joey as well. So be looking out for that. Definitely go and check out his uh, his content. Uh, he uploads for the UPA, I believe. So yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, again, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.